Today's lesson, we're talking about nonlinear system of equations. Um, so here we want to kind of look at the possible solutions you would have if you were looking at a parabola and a line. So sometimes you would have no solution, one solution if they're meeting at the vertex or like at a tangent line, and then two solutions if the line actually crossed um, the parabola at two different spots because of the U shape. So here, we're not going to graph to solve these. We're going to use either substitution or elimination. Um, now for these first ones, they're kind of set up a little bit better to use a uh, substitution, but on letter B, you could probably use uh, elimination if you wanted to. So here, because y is equal to x squared plus 1, I'm going to plug it into the top equation. And then now I have only x's. I'll move the negative 1 to the other side by adding it. That cancels it out. Remember, I want to factor out the x that's common between x minus x squared. And then that gives me x and then times 1 minus x. Set them both equal to 0 and solve. So I get 1 and 0. Then I need to go pick one of the other two equations. I pick the bottom one to plug in those values that I found. So then I get one answer of 1 comma 2. And then I also get another answer of, I believe, 0 comma 1. And those would be my two answers. So this would be a two solution um, possibility. Okay, letter B. Um, it looks like I'm choosing to use substitution. So I'm going to add the y over on the bottom equation to get 2x squared equals y. And then I'm going to use that to plug it into the top equation um, to just get everything in terms of x. Sorry that that 2 looks a little weird there. But I'll move the uh, negative 2 to the left side and then put this kind of in standard form. Now I don't like the negative in front of that first term, so I'm going to divide everything by negative 1. That'll just make it easier for me to factor, but it doesn't matter. You don't have to do that. So then here I factor, and it looks like I could get um, 2x, I believe, um, plus 1 times x minus 2 to get that factor. Notice that it's 1x middle terms, 2x times negative 2x outside terms to negative 4x plus 1x. So that gets me negative 3x, so that works. And then I set those both equal to 0 and solve. So I get negative 1 half, and I get 2. And then just like the last one, I'm going to plug those in to see what y values I get using the equation that I kind of set up to get me to this point. So plugging in negative 1 half gets me 2 times 1 fourth, which that ends up being 1 half anyway. So my ordered pair would be negative 1 half comma 1 half. And then plugging in 2, 2 squared is 4 times 2 would actually get me 8. So then 2 comma 8 is my other possibility. Okay. Now sometimes you may have a line in a circle or ellipse. These scenarios will be the same. So I could have no solution, uh, one solution where the line is tangent to one side, or two solutions where it just goes through. So kind of the same possibilities as a parabola in a line. Okay, here, um, I'll choose to use, because there was one in a line, substitution sometimes is a great um, upper or great use. Um, it's usually not going to be elimination because one of the equations is going to have a bunch of squares and the other one's not. So using elimination, you don't really want to square your equation that's a line because that adds um, different complications. So it's just easier to use substitution with these kind of problems. Um, so here I used uh, 3x minus 5 and plugged it in for the y of the top equation. Uh, moved everything to the same side. It looks like there's a 10 in common with all my terms on the left, so I divide by 10 to make that factoring easier. So then I'm able to get 2 and 1 for my x values. And then I go to my y equals 3x minus 5 and plug in 2 and 1 in for that. So when I plug in 2, I get the value of 1. So I have the ordered pair 2 comma 1. When I plug in 1 uh, for my x value, I get the value of negative 2. So then my other ordered pair would be 1 comma negative 2. And those are my two answers. Okay, letter B. Here, if I want to use substitution, I'm going to have to move something over. So I'll move the 3y over to get x by itself in this case. And then I'll plug it in for the x of the top equation. And then I'll have to FOIL that out. That gets me negative or 9y squared minus 60y plus 100 plus y squared equals 10. 
subtract the 10 over, put like terms together because I have a 9y squared and a y squared. Here I have the same scenario as the other one. They all have a common factor of 10. Um, I kind of ran over out of room on the right side, sorry. That's supposed to be 10 divided by 10, or 0 divided by 10 over there. So then I get a nice factoring. So this is an example of more, like a one solution possibility because y minus 3 happens twice. So it'd be the same. That's why I'm kind of only doing it once. So y will equal 3. And so then in the other equation, I'll plug in 3 for y, and then that gets me negative 1. So then that's my answer of negative 1 comma 3. All right, have fun.